Europe, Israel has been one of the loudest voices against Iran in West Asia. The country blames Tehran for playing nuclear charade. To clamp down further, Israel is mulling over sharing nuclear tech with its Abraham Accord members. The country's atomic chief says that the three nations need healthy dialogue, especially in the area of nuclear weapon programs. This was a direct confrontation to Iran. The atomic chief said, and I'm quoting here, one country is the leading factor in the instability of the region. It is now clear that Iran conducted a military nuclear program, gaining technology to produce a nuclear weapon device. Now, this comes on the heels of ongoing talks in Vienna. After a series of deadlocks, Iran and the IAEA are now trying yet again to revive the 2015 nuclear deal. But so far, it has been nothing short of a Herculean task. The central issue is a probe into traces of man-made nuclear pra particles here and the atomic agency had found this years ago at many undisclosed sites in Iran. But Tehran has still not provided any explanation for this. Iran, on the other hand, has demanded the probe to be closed and also slash all sanctions against the country. Without these conditions, Tehran refuses to revive the existing deal that has put the atomic watchdog in a tough spot. And the agency is stuck between Israel and Iran on the opposing ends. Now, President Isaac Herzog is not trying to get support that he can. Enter the Abraham Accord members. Israel is trying to bring the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain on its side. Now, the Abraham Accords came to exist on the 15th of September in 2020. It was then mediated by then US President Donald Trump. And since then, the three countries have exchanged a series of statements, a show of uncommon Arab-Israel normalization. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.